Hello everyone and welcome to another sneak peek. Today I'm showing you Slant Fun 4 again and this time I'm going to cover these little fellows right here. These are called programmable androids and they come in different varieties. The normal one, the minor one, the fighter one, the farmer one and the woodcutter one. And yeah, when Slant Fun 4 is going to be released, you will have a lot of fun with these, I think. Because I think these are pretty much the most exciting feature added in Slime Fun 4. Anyway, I'm just going to show you how to use them. This is not going to be a full blown full blown tutorial about it, because since Slime Fun 4 is not released yet, it's still just a sneak peek. So be warned. Anyway, uh, I forgot to give myself some fuel right here. But yeah, when you place down this little fellow here, um, you can see he not only has a cool texture, but you can also open him. And you can see he has a little inventory, a fuel slot, and some script components. Anyway, if I give him fuel, he's going to do nothing, because his script is currently paused. If you place, down, place it down, it will not do anything unless you tell him to. So if I start or continue the script, you can see he will be spinning around to the left. That's all he's capable of doing right now, because his script tells him to do so. Because the default script is just turn left, repeat, turn left, repeat, turn left, repeat. He's a robot. So yeah. And um, if I access his memory core right here, this is where you can edit or create a new script. Um, you can see three options. You can edit the script, you can create a new one, which is going to override the current one. And you can also download the script from the server. However, this is not implemented yet, so I can't show you that. Anyway, I'm just going to edit the script, and as you can see, it's start, turn left, repeat. It's simple as that. And if I add a new option right here, as for example, move forward, by the way, these are the default options for the normal robot, and those are do nothing, move forward, move upwards, move downwards, turn left, turn right, and the interface ones, which I'm going to cover later. But yeah, by the way, when you access the memory core, the script will be paused automatically. Anyway, if I now run the script, you can see he turns left, he turns left, and didn't I say him, didn't I tell him to move forward? Oh, I didn't. Anyway, um, I want him to move forward, so yeah, if I now start it, yeah, he turns left and moves forward, he turns left and moves forward, he turns left and moves forward, and so on. But yeah, I'm just going to pause it again, and yeah, I'm just going to create a new script, which by default is again, turn left, repeat. And I can also do something like, move upwards. So if I now start him, he will turn left and move up, turn left and move up, and so on. But I want him to go down again, so I will just change this script component right here to move downward. And if I start it, it's going to move downwards. It's simple as that. And by the way, he will not override existing blocks. He's very smart. He's a very smart guy. Aren't you? You are very smart. I'm just losing my mind right here. And yeah. That's pretty much it for this guy here. I'm just going to show you the minor one. Which acts basically the exact same. By default, his script is also turn left. And I'm just going to disable this Wayne here because it's annoying. And yeah, um, if I give him fuel and edit its script, you can see uh, right here there are a couple of new script components to this one. And those are dig up, dig forward, dig down, and move and dig up. Move and dig forward and move and dig down. This is a combination of move forward and dig, uh, move downward and dig downwards, because you can basically do, I don't know, uh, break the block and then move there. Break the block and then move there. So yeah, you can do that to simplify some of your scripts. Anyway, um, I'm just going to show you turn left and dig, I guess, dig forward. Yeah, that seems right. So. He will, be he will be spinning around and he will keep digging these. And if I start the script, 
you can see he, he dug this block, he dug this block, and he keeps turning left. If I place these blocks right here, you will see that he keeps digging until I stop it. Yeah. So yeah, now if I edit the script, I will show you the interface component. So you should no longer dig, you will just do nothing. And hold on, I'm just going to create a new script. Yeah, he will, instead of turning left, he will push his inventory content to the face interface. And for this, I'm going to place this Android interface for items right here. And what this script component is going to do, it will dump all his items in this inventory here into the interface, the robot is facing. So if I run the script, you can see it put the items in this interface. Pretty cool, isn't it? So if I take some code right here and edit its script to, instead of push the inventory contents to the face inventory, interface it should pull fuel from the face interface and if I replace this with a um, fuel interface you can just put this coal in here and if I run the script you can see it grabbed the coal so you can do a lot of automation and you can automate these with hoppers and a maybe upcoming uh, transport system which I haven't spoiled in any way um, so yeah, you can do that to do some nifty automation. And yeah, this is by the way a sugar cane, sugar cane farm. And I can show you that script if you want. He basically just moves along this line, digs the sugar cane, puts it into this interface and grabs fuel from this one. Anyway, but I can show you the script if you want. Uh, come here. Memory core, edit script. It's quite huge. And you also have a limit, you can't have more than 54 script components, so 6 lines of an inventory. And yeah, all he's doing is start, then move forward, then dig down, move forward, dig down, move forward, dig down, and so on. Until he reaches the interface on the other side, where he pushes his inventory contents to the face interface. Then he turns to the right two, two times. And starts again with moving forward, digging down, moving forward, digging down, and so on. Until he reaches this interface, where he pulls the fuel from the interface and inserts it into his own in, uh, fuel slot. Then he turns to the right two times again and he repeats. So yeah, he's doing this in a loop, a pretty compact and useful sugarcane farm if you ask me. And yeah, you will be able to do a lot of these things in Slamford 4 as well as crowies with these little fellows here because if you set it up correctly you could mine an entire I don't know what the radius will be like but you can mine a huge chunk because basically after each iteration you can let it just go down one and repeat so you can even set up an entire crowy with this anyway that's pretty much it for this sneak peek. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you are as excited for these uh, androids here as I am. And thank you for watching. See you next time. A little sneak peek of next week. Bye.